All right, next guy coming to the stage. So funny, man. He's got, I, I'm just, I'm a big fan of this guy. He is hilarious. He's got a, a cornucopia of real life experience. It, it sent me into stitches from day one. You're going to love him. Give it up for the very talented Mr. Daryl Triplett, everybody. Oh, yeah, how are you? All right, all right. Give it up for my weed smokers in the house. All right. Any weed smoker? Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. I'm a cop. Uh-huh. Don't worry, sir. I won't arrest you till after the show. Yeah. Yeah. Good coming to the stage tonight. You know, it's hard for me to get started in comedian, you know, being a police officer and all, you know, because the announcers, they would do a wonderful job of announcing me. I mean, they would do a wonderful job announcing me. You know, now I'm bringing to the stage one of the greatest comedians who's ever a grace of face of this earth and the next earth to come, Officer Daryl Triplett. And all it seems that the crowd heard was, freeze, police, put your hands up. And they did. Check, please. You know, it's unbelievable. My family always want to introduce me as a police officer everywhere we go, you know. Real proud, you know. The only problem that not everybody reacts to the police the same way. You know, some want to call a toast. You hear? Some want to call their lawyers. It just all depends. You know, it doesn't make no sense, folks. Matter of fact, let me hear it for all the parents in the house. Yeah. I hate kids. I can't stand them, and I have 10 of them. You know, and guess what? I'm not a Mormon. Yeah, I can't stand kids. That's why I took this class, Josh, to get away from those punk kids. I can't stand them. I'll do anything to get away from those kids. Next week, I'm taking Zumba class. Six hours a day, five days a week. I can't stand those kids. They get on my nerves. And if you ever tried to find a babysitter for one kid, let alone 10 kids, it's, it's practically impossible. I tried to find a babysitter because I'm a responsible parent. I do the responsible thing. You know, I tried to find a babysitter this afternoon. And you know what? I couldn't, I couldn't find one. You know, I tried to call my family. They sent me the voicemail. You know, I tried to go and knock on their door. You know, they don't answer the damn door. You know what I'm saying? I see the lights go off. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to be bothered. You know, you know so I did the responsible thing. So I left them in the car with the handle pin of drill. Yeah. See if I care. Call the cops. Yeah. I'd rather take three hops in the cop than ten tots with their snot. It doesn't make no sense. You know, yeah, these kids get on my nerves. You know, they always got something smart to say. You know, my house is stupid. I guess that's their explanation point. You know, as ours as parents, we maybe, you know, you know, clean up your room, damn it. You know, with them, it's the explanation is stupid. You know, and they got to say it with attitude. They don't just say stupid. They say it with attitude. You know, shut up, stupid. You know, don't talk to me, stupid. Don't touch me, stupid. You know. It's time for a vacation, stupid. And that's just from my wife. I'm your boy, Daryl Tripp, but also keep it real. It's been my time. Thank you very much. Google one black person, one black person who got their damn head trapped in the alligator's mouth while y'all sitting here trying to be all sedity. We just don't do stuff like that. Now, we'll shoot someone in the ass over a pair of sneakers, but we certainly ain't putting our head in no damn alligator's mouth. You ever had that doggone list of people said you couldn't make it? Huh? Oh, I'm the only one. You got your fuck you list. Huh? You got your fuck you list. I went through my fuck you list. People didn't think I could make it. Huh? Fuck my mom. Fuck my daddy. Matter of fact, fuck all my daddies. Y'all got that one boss that everybody want to put their foot in their goddamn ass and turn. It ain't the same. It's the same way in policing. You got problems on your job. We got motherfucking problems on ours. Y'all think we following y'all ass? We trying to hide from you motherfuckers. Keep up your boys.